this is a quick update uh, a few hours after the last video you can tell I'm eager uh, I've altered my program somewhat so they have drop down boxes uh, which actually look for the available COM ports on your computer uh, ava well not available but selectable board rates, data bits parity, stop bits, flow control um, they have a little thing to tell you whether you're connected or not I may have had that before, I can't remember anymore uh, this one here which says connected is actually the joystick if I unplug my joystick there you go, we get disconnected and if I plug back in again just did a, a get state basically for that and then right down at the bottom here you should be able to see uh, the analog sticks oh I'm not connected yet so the other thing I've done is I've ported all the buttons so if I hang on if I do this if I hit start now you can see I'm connected but because it's accepting too many hits at the moment uh, I get this coming up Oh, that's fine. It doesn't crash anything out. And as you can see, I am connected. If you do a simple one click, then it's fine. Um, but let's see. So you've got the A. And as you can see, A button at the bottom. X, Y, B. Sorry, I should be showing you this, shall I? Y, X. Right thumbstick. Right trigger. Right shoulder. I'll trust that you believe me that the other side is done, as I can't hold everything at once. Now the analog sticks. And there you go. Mac to something at least. How I use this data uh, and how I port it out through the serial port is I'm not entirely sure. With the buttons, it's easy. You just give it some known output. Uh, it's sort of on or off but with the analog sticks you probably have to make a string or an array or something and have it uh, to protect the other end but we'll see as I say I'm no expert but there you go back button to quit as per usual and the code has got somewhat longer at this stage but that's fine. Most of it's quite simple. Right, I'm going.